If you are a guy who loves wearing t-shirts, you know, you know that the number one thing that can ruin the fit of your t-shirt are just having sleeves that are way too long. Well, what if I told you that the way to fix that is to run them under a sewing machine for like about 45 seconds. You can do that. It's super beginner friendly. I don't like long intros though. Let's uh... Let's get into this. This is the t-shirt sleeve that we're going to be shortening right here. Now, first thing that we want to establish is the distance from our original factory hem here all the way down to the edge. And on this sleeve, it's about three quarters of an inch. And that number's important, so, so don't forget it. Remember that, okay? Now let's roll our sleeve up like we're gonna pack a pack of cigarettes in here and our name is Joey. I think you should subscribe. Excluding our original hem down here, let's say we wanted to take off one inch from this sleeve. Well, how do we do that? Do we just measure one complete inch from the edge of our shirt to where we want it to end? No. Okay then, well, do we measure one inch from where our original hem starts right there to the edge of our shirt? Nah, -uh. we don't do that either. Our original hem is three quarters of an inch, so we're only gonna be taking off about a half an inch up here. And since this is folded over and this is doubled up, we have to account for both sides of our shirt right now. I'm gonna preemptively say it. Yes, I know. It's gonna be about 1.2 inches as opposed to an exact inch. I'm a tailor, not a mathematician. You want to measure one quarter of an inch from our original factory hem right there all the way to the edge of our shirt. And let's, uh, let's put a pin in there so we don't lose this spot. Click the join. Now make sure everything is nice and even and just keep putting pins all along the sides. When you're done, make sure everything is nice and even and flat and take your measuring tape and make sure that everything is of an equal length and distance. Let's uh, let's go sew this bad boy. What kind of stitch are we using? A narrow zigzag stitch set to a stitch width setting of about one. Why? Because a zigzag stitch stretches. I should finish chewing first. Because a zigzag stitch stretches and we want it to work in tandem with our factory hem and maintain that elasticity. What kind of needle are we using? Um, a universal needle 80-12. Why? Because it's really all you need to tailor your own clothes at home, in addition to a denim needle, both of which can be found in any big box store for like $3.50 max. And uh, what kind of thread? Polyester. Why? Well, unlike cotton thread, polyester thread stretches, so we're able to actually do stuff in this shirt. Everybody always asks me, are tailored clothes as strong as non-tailored clothes? Yeah, they are. Don't worry. I usually say take your time whenever you're tailoring anything, and this is a time where you really want to make sure you go slow because there's a very particular spot that we're gonna be aiming for we're actually aiming for that first stitch on our original hem right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank my lever and I'm gonna lower my needle right into position there to make sure that that's exactly where it is Make sure you keep rotating your shirt around, around the end of your sewing machine here, because it might kind of get bunched up, which could throw your shirt out of alignment, and then, well, you're gonna end up with not a very straight stitch. See, I'm coming off, my fabric's going that way a bit, but I'm gonna drag it back this way. I'm gonna lose my tension in my, in my tension place, but that's okay. There, perfect. I'm gonna make the sewing machine noise that everybody makes fun of me about in the comments. <laughs> this, this is the finished product right here. Now, you can see that nice zigzag stitch that goes through there. It looks pretty similar to a straight stitch, but those zigzags are gonna give it still that same elasticity that our original hem has. And this is the inside of our shirt. So kind of what we basically did is we took our shirt like this and we folded it up and then we kind of sewed a stitch right up top here. So this is kind of like a big lip kind of flopping around right here. ASD, 
<laughs> Where'd your watch go? And this lip right here, we don't want to keep this on here, so we got to snip this bad boy off. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're using fabric scissors for this, right? Like you're not using any kind of random pair of run-of-the-mill drawer scissors you have lying around? We don't need to finish this raw edge right here with the zigzag stitch if we don't want to. If you want to use pinking shears as opposed to regular shears, you can absolutely do that. This is the outside of our shirt and you can still see our original hem right there. You can still see that first top stitch kind of peeking out right there and it still has a ton of elasticity on it. So I wouldn't worry about this in any way, shape or form. That's what's awesome about a really narrow zigzag stitch. Have at that bad boy with an iron and then go check out the end card where we take in the side seams of a baggy t-shirt. I'll see you on the other side. ST out. See ya.